as a part of the concept of India. Okay, India is not a mere name; it is a concept. And the, as a part of Indian DNA, our effort to understanding the Indian DNA, because India is not a India is a composite culture. It is a living civilization, never interrupted in, since its uh, journey, since its inception. Okay, probably its uh, journey started since uh, uh, long back, around 10,000 BC back. Okay, 10,000 BC. when the present agriculture modern agriculture started settlement life started the greatest civilizations of the earth came into effect especially mesopotamian indus valley chinese the later greek etc etc there are six greatest civilizations on the earth out of them six greatest and dozens of the minor minor and medium civilizations across the globe but however the indian subcontinent which become a cradle for one of the greatest civilization that is indus valley civilization since its inception it has never been interrupted it has been living that's why it is a living civilization or perennial civilization in its civilization journey this civilization has produced greatest of the greatest leaders okay out of them dr b r ambedkar is one amongst them dr b r ambedkar in the recent one world body okay conducted a poll survey out of the last 10000 years who are the great that surveys main important mandate of that survey out of the 10000 years okay it recognizes that poll survey out of the 10000 years who are the greatest personalities on the earth surface out of them you know ambedkar one amongst them he is surprisingly and amazingly five indians found in the top 10 list of the greatest men on the earth for the last 10000 years back 10000 years for the last 10000 years five out of the top 10 personalities imagine the greatness of the india so out of the top 10 personality there were there were five five from india do you know who who are the these five members mahatma gandhi okay ashoka the great gautama buddha and dr ambedkar so this is the noted one dr ambedkar dr b r ambedkar he is on par with the ashoka the great before that the gautama buddha and mahatma gandhi imagine the mahatma gandhi Imagine the Gautam Buddha, his contribution to the humanity, and Ashoka the Great, his contribution to the whole humanity, not only to India. You know, such a out of such personalities, Ambedkar was there, one amongst them. And if you went to this Columbia University, it is situated at New York. In New York, at the at the Columbia University gate. you can see ambedkar statue okay below it there are certain script you know this columbia university established 270 years back in new york you know do you know who are the alumni of this columbia university george washington the father of the united states of america the those who written the constitution of united states of america they were from the columbia university the greatest businessman and they are on 5 to 6 years presidents from the columbia university this is the second greatest university next to harvard and on par with the columbia university from there he studied his ma economics and phd this is out of the all alumni alumni of this columbia university he was elected as the greatest alumni of this two greatest student of the columbia university because he produced the greatest con the largest constitution to the largest democratic country he was not only a, a constitutionalist he was a, he is a jurist journalist author a writer and social reformer and he is a revival revival of the the great buddhism he gave a uh, he gave a revival to buddhism imagine the his, his contribution 
he sacrificed his whole whole life you know he is believe he is the really his commitment is the strongest commitment why the whole world recognized dr b r ambedkar that is the question here is the greatest one of the greatest sons of mother india he not only that one of the greatest personality of the earth okay whole indian culture can produce such a personalities like buddha gautama buddha ambed ashoka the great before jesus christ were these two personalities mahatma gandhi akbar dr b r ambedkar i told you na 10000 years for the last 10000 years he was one of the greatest personality in the human history itself why he is so great that is important he was born in a mahar caste in maharashtra in mo but his originally his place his ancestor place from ratnagiri district which was also the birthplace of the tilak jyotira babule bal gangadhar tilak such a greatest reformers or revolutionaries from where he was born is the dr b r ambedkar his father sakpal bhima bai his mother is a 14th ch- child of the parents 14th child he was born in a mahar caste an untouchable caste mahar is nothing but a biggest enemy in view of the uh, this dominant caste in maharashtra mahar okay this mahar indicates that he is valor power knowledge etc etc that's the meaning of the mahar okay to do this mahar caste name he faced so many hards hardships probably the hardships on par with what faced the buddha what faced the ashoka ashoka is came by facing so many hardships he came to the power buddha he faced so many psychological hardships okay mahatma gandhi faced so many hardships okay but his hardships is entirely different they are man made mostly and discrimination in orientation he successfully come out of this this all hardships mostly untouchable discrimination in human discrimination animal nature okay from which he passed out okay he passed and he faced such hardship he become the greatest man and his greatest greatness is there in the present what we are enjoying that the indian constitution the indian constitution is successfully leading this greatest civilization you know what is the greatest greatness of the indian constitution the great if you studied the greatness of the indian constitution that is nothing but to study the greatness of dr b r ambedkar he is the personality he understood the indian dna the pulse of india that's why he produced the greatest indian constitution no in fact the greatest indian constitution is nothing but it it emanated from the the extracted part of the one of the living civilization it means that ambedkar is the personality who acquainted with the, the pulse of india he produced it is the unparalleled contribution to india from his side okay he played a greatest pivotal role in the indian constitution Constant assembly in 1947 he was well known dalit leader one section of the people but as a he as a member of the constituent assembly he produced the constitution for whole india you know it is not easy to understand the indian constitution and it is not easy to understand dr b r ambedkar okay the indian constitution simply represents you know the greatest aspirations objectives of the people those who sacrificed their lives since 1857 to up to 1947 which include mahatma gandhi all freedom leaders include jayachandra lakshmi bai whoever sacrificed their life from the 1857 to 1947 they are all aspirations inspirations objectives their visions for the future india all are successfully inserted into the present indian constitution that's why this indian constitution has the soul of india it represents the, the dna of india it represents the, the pulse of india who made it simply dr b r ambedkar that is the greatness of dr b r ambedkar 
That's why the Columbia University recognized Dr. B. R. Ambedkar as the greatest student of this Columbia University. Okay? Beyond the, their own father of the nation, George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and those who written the U.S. Constitution, those who united the whole U.S., okay? They, the Columbia University recognized Dr. B. R. Ambedkar greatest men for the last 10,000 years. So imagine the Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Why he is so great? You know, I want to tell you one thing. He was studying in a library in the Columbia University. Columbia University library. He was always studying, studying, studying. That's all simply. He was studying. At that time, Lala La Lajipatra is one of the greatest freedom leaders of India. Lal Bal Paul, out of Lala La Lajipatra went to New York on exile to escape from the British arrests. Wherever he went there, okay, his main aim is to unite the Indians, to strengthen the India's freedom struggle. He found one Indian, he was studying, he was involved, deeply indulged in the knowledge, acquiring knowledge in library. He attracted to him and he asked the Ambedkar at that time, please support me, please support the freedom struggle, okay, so that we can uplift the country, we can emancipate the country. This was the request from the Dr. Uh, Lala Vajpatra. You know, what was the... Re, 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 but Ambedkar readily rejected. It doesn't mean, it didn't mean that uh, he was not the patriot. Because his means are different. He wants to emancipate India permanently. He wants to emancipate the, those who are facing the odds like untouchability. Not only, in his language, emancipation is not only get the freedom from the British, even from the unshaken, unshaken from the earlier hardships, entire civilization, the present untouchability has its roots in the thousands of years back. This is one of the blot and the greatest blot in Indian civilization history. He wants to emancipate such a victims from the, this casteism. His aim is different. And he expressed like this. Yes, I am also on the same page with the same objective, but my means are different. My means through acquiring knowledge, 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 knowledge. Through knowledge, we can change our fates. This is what he believed. He was inspired from his father in this aspect. At the age of 21, he joined in the, he joined in the Indian Army as a Lieutenant Colonel. Okay? But his father insisted, don't get the job, don't join the job, please read it, please read it. He was the driving force behind his greatness. And his wife, Ramabai, was behind his, oh, behind his greatness. She acted as a driving force. And his teachers, like Kulashaka, a Brahmin teacher, and Ambedkar, Ambedkar is for his teacher, one Brahmin teacher name was Ambedkar. Named after him, his name become Ambedkar. And his father, his father believed in the Kabir Ramabhakti, devotional. And he imparted the same bhakti and the religious understanding to his son, great son Ambedkar as well. He was experienced with the religion at the early, at the tender age itself. And since his early stages of this study, he faced the hardship one after another. And his hardships mainly was denied even uh, a bullock cart. He was denied barber service. He was denied water. He was denied to freely move in his school. But everybody faced the casteism. But they are common to all. But this person converted these hardships into an energy, a potential energy. Throughout his life, this potential energy gave the energy to face such thing. And finally, it strengthened him to emancipate such millions of the people, not in his age, in his future. That's why he purified the India's greatest civilization from its blot of untouchability. That's why he is the greatest personality. And not only that, he produced one document, a living document, to carry and to guide this great nation 
to research it. After 1500 years of the foreign rulings, India got its independence in 1947. You know, since 1947, it embarked on its greatest journey to research it. To become great again. Further, it needs a guidance. Now we have been under this guidance in the form of the Indian constitution. It is a living document. You know, one of the greatest constitutions on the earth surface. No constitution on the earth can come to this level. Why? Because this India is the, the unity. India is the symbol of unity in diversity. India is an epitome of the composite culture. India is the epitome of the so many things. India is a miniature of the earth. India is a melting pot. Okay? India possesses almost all races of the earth. All climates of the earth. Okay? But however, there is a unity. These are all features are simply inserted into this constitution. That's what the greatness, greatness, greatness of the Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. In this way, he, he was, he is the one of the greatest personality in India's civilization itself. And of course, India is an unparalleled civilization on the earth. That's why no surprise behind this selecting as one of the toughest, top 10 personality for the last 10,000 BC. Because by contributing to this greatest civilization, he contributed to the human history as well. That's why he is one of the greatest personality in human history itself. Such is the greatness of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Okay? He knows 64 subjects. He knows 9 languages. He studied around 20 religions. He studied around 20 religions. His library is just like a public library in terms of number of books, in terms of quantity, in terms of its extension. His library name is Rajagraha in Mumbai. Okay, he was born in 1891. Okay, finally died in 1956. Okay, around 65 years of his, during his life, he faced so many hardships. But his belief is, he is believed in only acquiring knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge. And finally using this knowledge to uplift the downtrodden sections. And contributed to this greatest civilization. He is one of the greatest patriot. You know, one example. He was attended to all three rounds of the table conferences. The British conducted the three round table conferences in London, okay, to settle the India's constitutional, to uh, remove the constitutional deadlock and to, de to deliberate on the Indian constitutional terms, etc., etc. He was the person he attended to all three round table conferences. But Gandhi was attended to second round table conferences. Even Jinnah was there. All prominent leaders of India were present there. During these deliberations, Jinnah raised the Pakistani questions. Pakistan independent. The term of Pakistan. Gandhi was about to stand up to reply to the Jinnah. But before it, the Ambedkar started his argument against Jinnah. He talked about India. And he talked about the, the virtues if India united. He talked about that and he exhibited his patriotism. Gandhi was surprised really. Wow. Because Gandhi hitherto, Gandhi treated him as he is the leader of the downtrodden section, untouchability. Because he established All India Scheduled Caste Federation. He was there on the behalf of the All India Scheduled Castes of India. He was the representative of them. But he, is, he was so eloquent about the India's, India's greatness. He exhibited his greatness of India. Gandhi was surprised. So Gandhi recognized it. Of course, there is a lot of lot of things in the Indian media and in the present books that Gandhi versus Ambedkar, Ambedkar versus Nehru, etc. etc. That was not true. Yes, there is a clearly evidence is there. You know, he was after independence, Ambedkar was a, was a defeated from the Mumbai as an MP. He could not enter into Indian Parliament. But however, the Congress appointed him for the Rajya Sabha from the Maharashtra. Okay? And he became an MP because of the Congress. And he was become the, the first law minister of India and one of the first cabinet ministers in the Nehru cabinet. How it can possible? How it could possible? 
unless the blessings of the this nehru and gandhi indirectly how we can become he was not a congressman because they decided to bring this this great man in the indian constituent assembly of course not directly because there was a political situations okay with the blessings of gandhi and nehru he was become an mp he was become an first law minister and he was conferred the the greatest task was the drafting committee chairman you know sri raj gopal sir some other personalities also can do can work they were in a position to do this task but it was given intentionally this task was given to dr ambedkar because they know what is ambedkar because he is the personality who was completely fully 100% acquainted with india's culture because he studied the all india's religion okay he felted the almost all indian history he was an economist jurist western study eastern study and a scholar of the various religion philosopher and more than that one he was committed to uplift the down trodden sections that is more important qualification that way he was inserted into indian constituent assembly forget about the uh, this controversies but he was recognized because of this greatness to enter into indian constituent in indian constituent assembly okay while you uh, reading once we are come across in this constituent assembly its deliberations how will the constitution came into effect etc etc you can simply you can identify the greatness of the, the dr b r ambedkar okay finally on the when the there was a when there was a deliberations on the drafting constitution constitution you know simply he was faced hundreds and thousands of the questions from the all parliament the constituent assembly members you know he was at ease he clarified the all doubts okay he led the he moderated he, re, he initiated and he become the trouble shooter of the solving the various constitutional deadlocks finally the constitution came into effect that's why he is known as the modern manu of india he is known as the architect of india he is a builder of india you know that's the greatness later he is for this purpose for the, in order to produce the indian constitution he studied around around 64 constitutions of the earth he filtered them he took the the great virtues of the other constitutions and he took the clue from the experiences of other constitutions like the british us ireland australia south africa germany japan etc etc he, he studied all constitution he understood their experiences their better experiences he filtered them and he modified them and he adopted if they are needed and he modified in a way to the, they suit the india's socio economic and philosophical and cultural conditions okay he, ran, he didn't ransack the all constitutions that's what that was the, that is the greatest uh, criticism against his uh, the method of writing constitution but that's not the truth he understood the experiences and better experiences of already uh experienced the democratic uh, ca- ca- constitutions of the earth he adopted he took the clue but he didn't adopt anything without editing without modifying he modified them he took the clues from them in a way to and he prepared the indian constitution perfectly and absolutely to suit the indian indian condition that is why indian constitution has successful been successful been leading this great nation for the last 75 years for the same last 75 years in the eastern hemisphere almost no constitution stand up stood up pakistan you know no constitution permanently in japan it was adopted by the, uh, the adopted by american constitution it adopted american made constitution even such a developed nation such a great nation in the eastern hemisphere bangladesh failed nations india was surrounded by failed nations but in india nobody nobody we can't hear that uh, anybody is criticizing the indian constitution no one 
it is the greatest constitution around dozens of the countries they took the clue from the indian constitution even the ambedkar himself advised become advised to so many constitution on the earth surface that is the greatness of dr ambedkar because he is truly is the greatest one of the greatest sons of the mother india he knows the pulse of india he knows the the dna he acquainted with the dna okay that is why he, he, he is the greatest son of india in its civilization and history and he is one of the greatest men on the earth in the human history itself such a greatest man is born in india simply that is the fortunate of india that is the fortunate of this great this down trodden section now we have reservations that is the positive discrimination or else affirmative action this is because of this greatness his greatness he invented he protected it and india's greatest constitution our constitution seven features as far as the seven features of the indian constitution our fundamental rights from the article 12 to 36 fundamental rights is direct to principles of state policy and various protection to the people and is secularism and our preamble various feature our constitution objective socio economic and political justice or in other words the welfare state and means to achieve this welfare state welfareism is because of the ambedkar vision his outlook and his understanding about it, about india and india is a secular country and more than that one he declared india as a democratic republic democratic nation where we are all enjoying equal rights because india is the first country which which gave the uh, even voting rights to women for the first time itself without any struggle from the women whereas the us constitution such a greatest constitution so called greatest constitution gave the voting rights to women in 1915 around about uh, 200 years after its independence that is the outlook of the data we are on it he gave the equal rights to all without any 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 absolutely no barriers no qualifications we are enjoying this all freedom so in fact according to come some uh, analyst and historians now the india the present indians are enjoying the more rights compared to any age in the indian history that is because of the indian constitution now under it india's constitution guidance india is going to become the greatest nation okay for the last 75 years look at the, the 75 years history of india the democratic history of india in the early age it faced the poverty and the colonial so it it struggled to come out of the colonial hangover the poverty abject poverty this one so many things hardships of the legacy hundreds years legacy of this the british we came out the out of this hardship that the legacy inheritance of the british era in now india is the eighth largest industrialized nation in terms of agriculture one of the richest agriculture system in the world the fastest growing economy now fifth largest economy in terms of gdp in terms of triple bp purchasing power parity it is the third largest economy it is going to become the the third largest economy by 2007 and by 2030 in between 2027 and 30 and it is going to become the second largest economy by 2047 that is india at 100 and by in between 2080 and 2100 india is going to become the fast the first largest economy by beating china so imagine the india's progress and gradually it is achieving socio economic and political justice what our greatest freedom leaders vision for the 2000 years period of the india's freedom struggle ambedkar successfully inserted put in indian constitution that is the indian constitution is a living document if you properly look at the indian constitution you can see the souls the message of the the greatest leaders of india that is what the greatness of india okay that's why is the greatest son of mother india okay this uh, that's why you should read the ambedkar in this way he was born in 1881 his parents this is not the question for the upsc preparation 
so you should look at the extracted the sole area of that area how it has contributed for example look at indian constitution so <coughs> so your greatest main subject in your upsc syllabus is the indian constitution okay you have to finally you have to prove that i am loyal absolutely loyal to this indian constitution that's what your qualification upsc testing it upsc test through its question that whether you are the loyal to this constitution or not because who is your master indian constitution to whom you have to serve to the indian constitution beyond the constitution nothing there it is beyond our religion this is the religious law of the land to which you have to serve to which you have to deserve you have to be loyal that's what the greatest qualification to become the indian civil service so you have to go through this indian constitution in this point of view you should study the indian constitution in this point of view for this purpose you should read you should understand if you understood the ambedkar you can easily understand the indian constitution and without understanding the indian civilization history you can't understand the ambedkar you can't understand the indian constitution as well so in this object with this outlook you have to go through these our books you know i want to uh, tell you i want to advocate you related to which book is greatest book to study about the dr b r ambedkar there is one publication division printed book dr b r ambedkar am b r ambedkar that is the best book because you don't have time as a part of as, a, as you have to go through a huge syllabus that's why you don't have time but however you have to you should not you can't avoid the ambedkar history because you should read the ambedkar even for the essay purpose also in the essay program we have one essay political essay that whoever whatever may be the constitution whether it is a good or bad if the implementing personalities are good the good constitution become bad constitution if the implementing authorities are good though it is bad it would become that the so that is the greatest statement from ambedkar and he is a visionary statement regarding the indian women his main quotations become the the questions of the our essay program even philosophical essays reflect oral reflect essays so you can't avoid the dr b r ambedkar without understanding ambedkar we can't understand the indian constitution is very it's very difficult so it is very easy that's why there is a publication division book on dr b r ambedkar it's a medium in size of course small in size it is better book than compared to any other book on dr ambedkar and as far as the ambedkar there is one movie okay this movie was built up by indian minister of social welfare and women empowerment ministry indian ministry okay in 2002 movie mammootty hero 3 hours movie see it it is available in your in, in english hindi and in your mother tongue also so wherever you are comfortable see this movie for 3 hours without any break that is also one great movie okay movie on this one and i want to suggest you another thing just to see the movie of jay beam jay beam recently it come from the tamil nadu jay beam see that movie no ambedkar in that movie but you can see the ambedkar there you can find the try to find the, the soul of ambedkar in that movie the black buster movie okay not comparable with this bahubali etc etc in india you know no songs no fights usually there in indian movies otherwise indian public never attracted to such movies but no songs no attraction no heroines no famous personalities nothing is there in that movie but it become a black buster movie and it was a, even oscar level went to oscar songs academy awards songs one of the greatest movie jai bheem jai bhumi is a, a slogan related to ambedkar because bheem bheem rao ramji ambedkar bheem jai bheem 
as a tribute to his greatness by his followers jay beam it's a title only without title there is no directly never there, there is no nothing in ambedkar directly in this movie you know but the soul story is related to ambedkar is constitution how this constitution made by ambedkar can address the any problem in india if you believed in it a pregnant and widow believed in indian constitution and indian judiciary finally succeeded and he emancipated thousands of the people that is the movie it the jay bhum is nothing but the greatness of indian constitution the greatness of ambedkar become a greatest movie in recent decades you know it will be there in indian history also in future also that's why see the mammootty movie of 2000 okay baba saheb ambedkar baba saheb is nothing but respected father in maharashtra in marathi and see the movie of jay bhum and read the the book of publication division dr b r ambedkar the language is also very beautiful in that in that one and read this book and this movie is in view of its india's pulse and indian dna remember very very important if you followed in letter and spirit what i am advocating you related to elder gandhi and later nehru now ambedkar tomorrow in the 30 leaders in the coming 30 days in apart from your regular classes you know these things will expand your horizon of knowledge related to understanding about india so automatically whatever you study you will see through this prism so you can become you can understand the pulse of india and you can understand what upsc testing behind this knowledge test you know it appears to be knowledge testing that's not the truth okay in the guise of this knowledge testing upsc is seeking after some other thing that's what upsc pulse so you can succeed okay without a force automatically you can learn that is the beauty of this examination once you catch it so you can become ios you that ensures your ranking in this ups that is the greatest secret of this examination of course just to do it just to do it now you are you have such a kind of imagination that will come to true once if you do it consistently over a period of time only few months one or two months so though you have some certain lacunas related to knowledge various syllabus definitely you can become ias and once you become ias with this knowledge you will be the one and only out of the thousands of ias and thousands of ifs officer even because only few people has certain kind this kind of understand definitely you can make it guarantee and you can get you have guaranteed bright career in india and you will be helpful to more indians okay that's what energy energy we can't destroy the energy you know uh, leave it this in the physical i don't want to tell you in the physical uh, physicist manner okay no one can destroy the energy the soul force okay whether it is ambedkar time whether it is gandhi time whether it is the present time or in the jesus time and rama's time the soul force is same never changed if you catch this soul force you can use like how the gandhi used the same force how the ambedkar used the same force it is even up to you in guy in one occasion gandhi told mahatma gandhi even in future also no one can reach to your stage gandhi objected to this uh, statement no 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 that's not true because i achieved this much of the future generations can understand me about me by fall, by following my bio- biography itself so on goes they can build up so many things like that na, scientific community newton found something uh, einstein found something hakins found something indian scientists found something now iit and so they reading everything they are adding certain other future is always future 
So those who are using this soul force, they can always contribute to this, this society. The contributing to the Indian society is nothing but contributing to the whole, whole humanity itself. Because India is like this. So this kind of overall view is important. That is known as universal consciousness. Universal consciousness. For example, in the spiritual terms, I am standing here. I am standing in the June 10th, 2023. No, really I am not confined to this time period. Really I am not confined to this body. Really I am not confined to this generation. Really I am not confined to this earth. Really I am not confined to this location. I am permanent. This kind of vision, this kind of understanding is nothing but universal consciousness. This is the principle of law, unity, law of the unity, law of the frequency. This is what the spiritual. This is what the physics. This is what the all the all the scientific and rational laws. But in terms of the spirituality and scientific, both are same. There is no difference. Okay? The truth is always truth. You know, in Ambedkar, in Vivekananda speech, he gave, he gave one example. Okay? The gravity. The principle of gravity. Now we discovered the principle of gravity. It doesn't mean that the principle of gravity originated only after our discovery. No. It was there before our discovery. It was there even after we forgot. Even after the humanity ended also, the gravity of the law will be there. That's what the permanent. You know, he gave a greatest example. What we are in this universe. So that's kind of uh, untouch, uh, uh, ungreediness will improve your determination to serve this nation. This kind of attitude is important. You should go beyond your vested interests. So everybody is doing for the salary. Everybody for his own parent, own uh, children, etc., etc., siblings, etc. But go beyond it, apart from it. That's what you can get it from. It. For example, Rama Bhai in Ambedkar, one letter is there. Rama Bhai, Ambedkar's wife, youngest wife, young wife. Okay, at the age of around 20s, he was started to maid service in other's homes. You know, at that time he was studying in Columbia University. He was studying in library. One day he received one letter. He studied. Do, do you know even Mamuti movie also you can briefly see this, this one also. Okay, at that time. Ambedkar's son was dead. Okay, she wrote a letter. He was there in the Columbia University across the two seas. She wrote a letter, almost semi-educated, Ramabai. She asked him, please continue your studies. You know, please continue your studies. Just I am informing you. Okay? I could not bear the medical expenses. I could not provide the nutritious food to our side, our beloved side. But he died. But however, you can continue your study. Can you expect this from any wife? He continued. He cried and he started. He, he restarted his study. He studied, studied. See, understand what he studies? Now he made conscious. India is enjoying it. The greatest civilization is enjoying it. Who contributed a lot? Beyond Ambedkar, Ramabai contributed a lot. If Ramabai insisted, why you are studying there? I am doing the maid services. Who gave birth to two children? We could not even we could not provide the, this food to these children. Now you can contribute to this one. If she insisted like this, he could not continue his studies. So that's what the symbol of woman. That's what the driving force. Like a putri bai, like a kasturba behind them. Even Ramabai understood the India, the concept of India. So it means that not only great leaders, even every common man. Okay, according to discourse of the discourse of India of uh, Nehru. Okay, the common man understood the, the concept of India, the, the Indian DNA. 
more than any other one. We can see such examples. Yes, we have the example in syllabus, we can find them. So, go beyond them while reading. Contemplate over it. Think over them. Okay? Develop your own thoughts. Whatever I am telling you now, I developed myself certain principles over a period of time. You can develop like this. So, that's what. Once you developed, once you started to contemplate over it, started to think over the whatever you are come across in the, as a part of your syllabus, that would become abstracted part from which the questions are coming because they are so experts in UPSC. UPSC's questions are always coming from your extracted part of the knowledge, not directly from the syllabus. So once you started to generate extracted knowledge, definitely you can become this one. That is the story. For example, you are swallowing, you are chewing and chewing in your mouth. Before swallowing, okay, when will you feel the taste after chewing and chewing? Finally, while you are swallowing it, you can taste the, you can feel the taste. Like this, while reading, you can't get anything. Reading, reading, already you are the master of reading. You can't get, you can get the only, you got only certificates. But this IAS, from the taste, you should, you, you should be in a position to feel the taste. That's what extracted knowledge, that will give you, that ensures IAS, without my help also. Now is the question is, how to chew it? how to feel the taste because we can feel the taste with the same food other animals cannot taste it we are preparing all this to enjoy that taste na? only few seconds sweet, hot, tea, coffee, whatever that one only human is so pleasure, so comfortable because he can taste it you can prepare whatever he wants to enjoy this kind of taste, that's what human life. You know, this civil service, whatever you studied, you should extract certain things from that one. You should feel it. You know, Ramabai, see, from Ramabai onwards, we, we have seen this concept of India. Who is great? Ambedkar, great Ramabai, great. Ramabai is so. You know, that's why when the Putri Bai, uh, Kasturba Gandhi died in 1930s. You know, British were arranged the crema cremation for Gandhi also. You know, they expected, even Britishers understood. Once the Kasturba Gandhi died, Gandhi would die. Because he beloved, he, he, he is a fond of, he was fond of Kasturba Gandhi. Like what Rama to, towards Seta. So, even Britishers expected. You know, they arranged the sandalwood as well. Gandhi saw that. Yes, truly, I am half dead. The same word used uh, Rama in Ramayana. Yes, I am half dead. It's Kasturba's death, demise. But I would survive until India emancipated Gandhi. So, see, look at India got the freedom in 1947, August. He died in January 30, within four to four and a half months. He was there. What are the causes? So that's what the determination. So if you are determined enough, you, are, you need not do physically. The soul will carry you to do it. This is very, very important. That's why while going through these books, that is the best foundation for anything. That is the best thing to do anything. Okay, you can teach to the all. You can teach to the political master. You can teach to the future generation of India as well. That's what Abdul Kalam. Okay? We have around thousands of personalities in India. No end for them. But of course, we are taking only few personalities based on the material, etc. Et and also, Ambedkar is the part of your service. Gandhi is the part of your service. J.R. Nehru is the part of your service. It's not beyond your service also. But why I have chosen Ambedkar? Not only because of great. And he is, the, he is there in, the, in your syllabus as an extracted part. Whenever you study the Indian Constitution, you have to touch it. 
his intention, his vision. Gandhi, vision is there in Indian constitution. J.R. Nehru, vision is there in Indian constitution. I told you, you know, the everybody's soul force, objectives, aspirations are there in Indian consciousness. It's true, absolutely true. We can see them in that one, Indian constitution. Directly, indirectly. Okay? Oh, what the next, this, uh, as far as our newspaper, na? I will start from Monday because few of the people are writing, attempting tomorrow's exam. Okay? I will start because that is very important. I will start on from Monday onwards. Since then, just read the newspaper. And who are free, please attempt the question. Or if you could not attempt, just observe the questions. Just listen to the, the live sessions or whatever that session. Just observe. If you have the courage, just attempt it, no problem. If you don't have it, just observe them. But I should know whether you are observing or not. That is why I am suggesting you to attempt it. Attempt it. Fail, no problem. Okay? You will learn certain th things. Okay? Please go through today's newspaper. I will frame two to three questions from that newspaper. Observe them. Okay? Do it. And this are, if you have the time, see the B, J. B. movie. And also this Ambedkar movie. Beautiful movies. That is the part of your syllabus. Even movies as well. See the J. B. movie. First see the Ambedkar, then go to this J. B. movie. Okay? Later, please buy this one, uh, this uh, publication division, not available in bookstores. Uh, order through online. Okay?